What's good, vlog? It's a good day. It's Wednesday, December 21st. We're on our way to Brewster, not to play Brewster, to play Napa Vine. It's a beautiful day, and we're gonna get that win! We're going to pick up Lena, and they better double up because we're all full. You know what I'm saying? Touchdown! And, uh, and Jesse just scored a touchdown. <laughs> and Brennick's drinking his pregame drink over here, Dr. Pepper. We'll catch you guys later. Um, we're on the bus. It's a long trip. We got snowy roads. It could be dangerous. We could die. No risk, no reward. And we're going for that reward. That was deep. A dub! A dub! It's uh, like a two hour bus ride. I gotta double up with Ch Cage because I'm a nice guy. And, you know, he didn't he didn't have a place to sit. And I, I was being a good little Christian boy like I always try to be. And I scooted over for him. Hey, Cashton Colbert. Yes. Here's the mic. Okay, yep. my expectation about the game is we're gonna win, but we have to be prepared for their energy because uh, they're a pretty good team. Uh, we have to come out strong because we're not at home. We're normally used to that energy at home, but uh, we gotta make it up, and that's about it. Rebound, play defense, score. Brennick, are you ready for the game, and what are your expectations? Yes, I'm ready for the game. <laughs> and we're going to have to play well. They're, they're a good team, so we'll have to play well, but we're going to win. Because of this long two-hour bus ride, me and Evan decided to do a little draft. Uh, we're going to be drafting drinks, get a little starting five going, and we'll see what happens. I'm starting off in at point guard. I am taking... I think at point guard, I'm going to take water. Well... I was going to pick water for my point guard, but for my one, I am going to have to go orange juice. It's just like a light. It moves well. Um, I think it would just really be able to move the ball around and get the offense going. In at the two, I think I'm going to have to go sweet tea. I feel like it's nice, sweet, has a good shot, and just will be a, definitely be an offensive scorer on the team. Ooh, man, this is tough. This is tough. Um, man, for my number two, my shooting guard, I think I'm going to have to go with body armor. Now, you might say you might say this is like a four, a three type of guy, but body armor, he's got a clean shot. Any any type, you know, he's always going to get that nice clean release off. He moves well. He just, I think he also goes good with the orange juice. They, got, they probably got some good chemistry. So, shooting guard, body armor. I think in at the three... I'm going to have to go Dr. Pepper. I think Dr. Pepper will get the job done. Um, you know, just I feel like he's just that guy at the three. That's just my take. For my three, I'm going to go with Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, he's an energy guy. He keeps, He's just a well-placed middle guy. He's going to run. He's going to shoot. He's just going to go real well. He's not too big. He's not small by any means. Has a little bit of a punch, but he's also smooth with it. So, Mountain Dew. Um, I think in at the four, I'm going to go chocolate milk. You know, I feel like they're just big, but not too big. You know, they'll get the job done. They'll rebound. They'll set good screens, great screens. And I think they'll just fit, like, in the offense that I'm trying to build. So yeah. So for my four, I'm gonna do coconut water, but not like the small bottles, the tall, oh. the tall, slim, big boys. Okay, <laughs> because he's gonna get bored. He doesn't have a lot, a lot of mass on him to be a five. I got a five in mind already, but the four, he's tall, he's fast. He's gonna be, he's gonna be a defensive threat all around. Coconut water. Now we're under the five, the big boy, the one who's gonna be a beast in the paint, and. I think for me, I'm going to go with Bang Energy in at the five. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. They got, they got creatine in that thing. It's going to be a wild beast you cannot tame in the paint. I know. It's got the good post moves. Got everything you ever need in a five. In a my five. Bum, 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 bum. I'm going to go Monster Energy. It's tall. It's mean. It's strong. It's going to get rebounded. It's going to D up. It's going to dunk. It's the Shaquille O'Neal of drinks. Monster. 
monstrous. Nobody is stopping. Nobody's stopping the monster energy. All right, and here at the ahead of the big matchup between Evans and Jasons. You know, I think it's going to be a battle of the of the ones. You know, you got um, water on your side, just smooth and nice, and has the IQ. And then there's there's orange juice, and that's a little tangy, a little spice to it. You can get in the other in the other players' heads. You know, but they they know how to score. You know, so I think it's going to be water. Water is going to be ahead, lead their team. You know. They're going to be getting this win, and then all of a sudden, when everything is down, Mountain Dew is going to come back with that energy, get him back in the game. And you know what? We're going to bring this back down to the fives, you know, with the bang and the monster. Who's it going to be? You know, the monster has a, has the head here. You know, they're just, just freaking nature. But then at the end, the rough, the tough, coming out with this win is going to be because, going to be because of this player, Chocolate Milk. Chalka Milk is going to lead this team to victory, so Jason's team is going to win. I really agree with Jesse's take on the matchups. Comment down below who you think is going to win, and what your mat what your lineup would be looking like for your top five drinks. So, yep. It's game time. Took the dub from your Tennessee Rainwater. Tell us about that last dunk in the fourth quarter. Um, I don't know. I I came here, so I was just like, why not put on a little show to show the people a little something? So I had to show out. Watch this clip. We just bit the dust. Hey, but no, we didn't. Another one bites the dust because we got the dub. Hey. Hi, what's up, guys? We got the food reviewer coming in. Um, I went. There was a subway uh, attached to the uh, uh, freaking store, so got subway, got uh, got this big thing of chocolate milk. Love it so much. So yeah, now I'm gonna pass it off to my boy Evan, and he's gonna show you about his experience and what he got. Hey guys, take two. I just did my whole thing and I wasn't even recording. But anyways, I got uh, spicy sweet chili Doritos, which were like a seven out of ten, six out of ten around there. Then I got the mild cheddar. Cheetos dip, or not Cheetos, but cheese dip, and so together that was like an 8 out of 10, because like, the spicy sweet chili dipped in cheddar cheese, oh, bussin, it was good, 8 out of 10, and then I got a smoothie drink, uh, it was a blueberry, strawberry, or something like that, it was pretty good though, probably like a 7 out of 10, um, solid, and then I got kiwi and strawberries, and those were good, they were a little bit, not like old, but like you can tell they'd been in the store for a little bit, but they were still busting. Like an eight out of ten. Um, yeah, overall pretty good. That's all from me. Hey guys, I'm here with Redick Iceman Soliday. Tell us about the big game. 
it was a good game. Uh, second half, we did well. I had four threes in the second half, which was good. Evan had eight points. Yes, sir. Shout out to Evan. Uh, but, yeah, it was a good game. Uh, we stopped at the store, and I got the best stuff, even ask Evan. It was valid. Kind of weird, but it was valid. I got dill pickle chips, which they were good. I'll, I'll give them a 8 out of 10. And I got a chicken bacon ranch salad. That was good. I'll, I'll say 7.5. I got a bio steel blue raspberry. It was good. 10 out of 10. And then I got this weird like drink. I don't even know what it was called, but it was strawberry kiwi. And I'd say that's like 8.5 out of 10. It was good too. Okay, Jason, J12 vlog. I am doing a food review right now. And the one thing I gotta say is, Brennix dill pickle chips are the bomb. Like, that, and I'm done. That's all I gotta say. Here we go. Dill pickle kettle chips. Wyatt, shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm about to eat these. Here we go. That is good stuff. That dill pickle chip was the perfect amount of crisp, the perfect amount of flavor, and it went down my throat, and I don't know, it was just good, so... 9 out of 10, no, 10 out of 10 must try again. Alright guys, this is TC Goes Crazy. I love y'all. Can you shut up? Oh my god! Guys, I'm back. Just to let you know that this video is sponsored by Dr. Pepper. 23 flavors. It's the best drink out there. That, that sounded very good. What'd you get? Um, I got a, a Subway sandwich with what on it? Um, pepperoni, um, lettuce, tomato, and salami. And salami, mm hmm. Ooh, who's that? Some sriracha. Did you get any mayonnaise? I did get mayonnaise. My man. And then, a good old Dr. Pepper. I got, I went to deli. And I got some cheesy potatoes. Oh, They're really good. Yum. And then I got a chicken breast that was fried. It was pretty good. Oh, hi, Brennick. <laughs> um, Brennick's like a ghost bag. <laughs> uh, so I got that. And then I too got Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. I also got like one of them ice cream Snicker bars. Because, you know, I like ice cream. Dr. Pepper is the best. Uh, Cashton Colbert thinks it tastes like water. I don't know what's, mm, what's wrong with there's him. There's something wrong with him. Um, it's, it's really good. Yeah. Um, so, make sure you comment your favorite soda down in uh, the comment section. Uh, I'm a YouTuber. Should've, you should have looked out. Yeah, Brennan's got Dr. Pepper too. Oh, my gosh. So, anyway, that's going to conclude our interview. Uh, oh, but... Uh, before we uh, end this, I just want you guys to know, Cage, Maddox, and I brought the energy to the bench. We did. We didn't get we in, did. but we we caused uh -huh. like some major turnarounds. Uh -huh. So uh, I just want that to be known. We're contributing even when we don't contribute. So uh, anyway, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys. You thought it was done? No, we got bonus content coming in.